Welcome YouTube and hello and <laughs> no hello and welcome. That that was weird. I'm I created an awkward situation now by introducing it with a welcome and hello. But hello and welcome to my channel. I hope you guys um, enjoy my videos on this channel. And um, if there's anything that you don't like and want me to change your stuff, please comment in the comment section below. Different ideas, maybe a different layout, different changes, maybe team ideas, maybe you want to see me do more of something, maybe you want to see me do less of something. So um, your feedback is important because obviously I'm making my videos for you guys and um, yeah I would really like to get some feedback from you guys on what you like and what you don't like so please comment in the section below um, to changes or ideas or anything really that or if you just want a general chat so uh, yeah just please comment in the comment section and uh, stuff like that. Um, this battle is a really really good battle um, However, my mono team is not complete. I really need to replace, I have actually already replaced uh, Coolfish with Drapion now, and my Beedrill um, had a really crap move set. It didn't have knockoff and it didn't have drill run, which it should have had. Um, so I'm gonna have to uh, adjust that, and I have adjusted that since I've done this battle. This battle was quite a while ago. But even so, even with a crappy Quillfish and uh, not that great Beedrill, um, this match is still pretty close. It kind of flicked between him winning, then me winning, then he was winning, then I had a Choice Scarf, so I was gonna win, then he got an Unburdened Boost, so he was gonna win. So it was a really, really good battle. Hope you guys enjoy it, and I will stop blabbering on and making awkward introductions and just start the battle. So. Let's uh, just get straight on into it, and I hope you guys enjoy it. So in comes the chandelier, and uh, I'm gonna get a beetle. Who was the worst thing possible? Because chandelier resists both poison and bug, I think by four times. Uh, resist bug by four times. I'm not sure. Poison one times, I think. So and uh, obviously I don't have drill run on this thing or knock off, which is so awkward. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna um, get rid of. I've put drill run on it now at the moment, but I'm gonna get rid of that for knockoff because knockoff I think just seems more viable. So I'm gonna swap out my beetle here and um, go into my goal back to take this obviously uncommon frame thrower, flame thrower. My pronunciation is off today as well, apparently. Um, He's then gonna swap out because um, this goal back is just amazing. And on the swap, I'm actually gonna go for a nasty plot. So he's gonna bring in his eagle like fly guy here. Oh no, I'm actually gonna go for a roost, sorry. Um, I'm gonna go for a roost and um, on the swap which is good and he's going to bring in his physical wall um, I thought that was quite odd so I'm just going to go for a nasty plot I was just like oh um, well if it's physical then I can just boost my special attack and kill it right? wrong he has knockoff and he knocks off my EV light which is really crappy although um, because of my EVs and stuff I'm still slightly bulky for a uh, pre-evolution so you know I can take a few hits so he's going to swap into his chandelier again I Sure, I know this thing is the choice scarf, and I was expecting just the choice scarf psychic to take me out. Um, he swaps into my nasty plot S slash, which does over half, which is awesome. But he's actually gonna trick a choice scarf. So um, I find that quite odd. It's not a play that I would have made because now I'm easily able to take out his chandelier because um, I'm choiced into S slash, and he's choiced me into a plus two S slash with stab. So I thought that was quite odd. And then what's even more strange is that he goes into his Umbreon who's going to be now slower, so I have the chance to pretty much just flinch this thing for days. So I thought that was a really odd play, and I actually get a critical hit as well, go back putting in the work, and um, although, because I'm not evil like it's going to do quite a lot of damage to me now, which sucks, because um, if I still have my evil light then that would be great. But um, I'm just going to go for an S-slash here, because I'm locked in, so I just keep pretty much spamming S-slash and just hoping that I flinch this thing as much as I can. I actually get a flinch there, which is good, although I'd much rather have a flinch later on when it's in reds, and if one, if I got one flinch, then I'd have been able to finish it off. Um, that actually happens twice, and he ends up getting Moonlights off twice, so that really sucks. Um, so I flinch him again there, which is quite good. And he's going to get lefties recovery and stuff. And I'm just going to keep just going for air slashes and air slashes and air slashes. My narration to this bit's going to be boring because I'm just going to be saying what's happening. And there, right there, that's where I needed a flinch. Right there, so stop him from going for that moonlight. That would have been beautiful. But uh, unfortunately, RNG just hates me. And I never get any hacks, ever. Like, never, ever. Like, it's just so unfair. Um, so I'm going to go for another air slash there. And um, it's going to go for... Sorry, it's going to go for a foul play, and um, almost, 
almost take me out. I, I'm pretty sure another foul play or two foul plays would do it. Um, and he's getting left to his recovery as well. So I'm just going to go for some air slashes because it's all I can do. And um, that one did quite a lot. I'm pretty sure it was a bit of min max there because that one did more than the other ones. He's going to go for another foul play and I live on 2 HP, which is so good. Um, imagine how much more bulky he would be if he still had his Eevee light. Um, so I'm going to go for another air slash here and um, I'm just really hoping for a flinch. But again, Golbat lets me down. He lets me down. Why do my Pokemon always seem to let me down at the last hit? So all of that was for nothing. He's got a Moonlight off. He's practically on full HP. The only thing, like the only positive thing that's come out of that is that his PPs for foul play are a bit less, um, and his PPs for Moonlight. So I'm going to go for another slash just before I die because there's no point swapping out or anything, and he's just going for foul play and finish me off, which really sucks because I want to go back to come through for the team and be able to take out that Umbreon because that would have made a cracking thumbnail, but no. Go back, just let me down at the last hitter. Twice! Twice with those flinches that would have mattered. Um, so I'm going to swap in my Wasp here. Uh, Beedrill's obviously going to scare out that Umbreon, and he's going to swap into his wall again, um, which really sucks because if I had knock off on this goddamn Beedrill, then it would just be so much more useful because I could just knock on something really light like, and just life would be good. But no, I'm forced to go for a U turn and swap out and um, bring in my Sheer Force. Uh, Joy Scarf Needle King, who's obviously going to threaten that thing like to high heaven with an ice beam. Um, so he has no choice unless he wants that thing to get one shot, which he obviously doesn't. He has to swap out into Umbreon to take this ice beam. Um, I knew the Umbreon swap was obvious, this is why I probably should run a mixed Needle King, but obviously I didn't. Really and um, Umbreon's going to take that really, really well. It's obviously max special defense, max HP. Um, maybe it has a little investment in physical defense, but probably not. Um, he's going to he's gonna swap out i'm gonna swap out and go into my vile plume i figured that wall on wall would be quite good because i have the advantage he can't toxic me and every time he foul plays me he will take possible effects sport and rocky helmet damage um though he does have the heal bell if i got an effects ball sleep that could be quite good um although i'm pretty sure he'd sync and you can't actually synchronize sleep actually can you so if he had an effects ball sleep that could have been game breaking that would have been good but um, no, he's just going to go for Moonlight and Fun Plays. He is going to take as, about as much damage as he does to me um, back just through Rocky Helmet. So I'm going to be doing slightly more damage to him than he'll be doing to me. He does have the fact that he has speeds on his side when it comes to Moonlights and stuff. But um, he doesn't really want to play that game, so he's going to swap out and bring back his um, physical wall, which is Gliver. Um, I'm going to go for a Sludge Bomb here, which isn't really going to do much to him at all. Um, it's Flying Ground, I think, isn't he? Uh, I always think it's a Poison type that gets Toxic Heal, but it isn't. Um, so I'm going to swap out and go into Point Repeat. I don't know why I did. I would have been better off just staying in the Fire Plume. I mean, he'd have knocked off my Rocky Helmet, but I could have got a possible effects ball and stuff, so that swap was bad. Um, I played quite not that great in this game, really. Um, so he's going to bring in his superior, if I'd have gone for a poison jab this would have been beautiful but instead I went for a taunt to try and um, taunt like maybe Umbreon or something that came in but um, no, instead I just taunted the slim and, and it just one shot to me with Leaf Storm so that was totally pointless and um, really didn't work out at all. Pointy Peak really sucked in that battle and that is why I replaced him with Drapion. Uh, so I swapped back into my uh, Wasp. He was going to scare out the Slytherin, <laughs> I'm calling them by the nicknames, so he's going to scare out the Superior um, with a possible use of a poison jab. Um, and I actually decided to go for a poison jab on the off chance he's got the one thing, um, like Umbreon or something, um, just to get like poisons and stuff. So I'm just going to keep spamming poison jab because I was like, oh, it's got knockoff, it's got roost, and um, it's probably got toxic and something else so it's just like oh i bet it can't really touch me so i could just keep spamming poison jabs or something but um he goes for the roost here and he actually does have earthquake which i didn't realize so he's going to easily take me out next to him with a earthquake after i spam a couple more poison jabs in the hope that i crit him or something i i just got fed up of i don't know just being troll just being useless <laughs> so i just let it die i don't really care 
it didn't have the moveset that I wanted it to and it was a real kick in the face so it was quite useless on this team. Um, if it had knockoff it might have been good like I said but it didn't so I'm going to swap into my Gengar. I knew he'd switch predicting a Shadow Ball or something so I just go bam straight for the Specs Dazzling Gleam which is like just beautiful because I really need to take out this Umbreon. That does a massive amount of damage if you consider that that's, that's probably max HP and max special defense and it's unstabbed from Gengar, it does a really nice solid amount. So I'm going to go for another Dazzling Gleam here, hoping that I can take it out, and I do successfully manage to take out that Umbreon, which is um, great because he was a real, real problem for um, <clears throat> most of my team because of the scrolling nature that is Umbreon, really. Um, I'm going to swap out my Gengar here because obviously I'm choice, and I know a Specs Dazzling Gleam is not going to really kill um, a superior, so I decided to go into my Vile Plume. I knew the chance of this thing running Hidden Power Eyes or Hidden Power Fire was quite likely, but um, I needed to just swap it anyway because I had nothing else that wanted to take this hit. Um, he's going to go for a Hidden Power, it's either Ice or Fire, I'm going to think it's Ice. Um, either way it's going to be super effective and I'm going to go for a Sludge Bomb. This thing is Assault Vested and I still do that much damage to it uninvested, so I think that is quite a powerful Sludge Bomb if you uh, take into account the fact that it's an Assault Vest um, superior. So obviously it's, I'm gonna get really lucky and get the poison there and he's easily going to take that Goo Drain. I don't know why he went for Goo Drain, maybe he just wanted that extra 3 HP that he managed to get off me. Um, and that is gonna be the end of my Vile Plume, which turns out to be a pretty big deal really because I could have used Vile Plume later. Um, but again I was so mad that my Beedrill sucked so much that I just couldn't be bothered. So I'm gonna swap in my Nida King here just like yes I'm Choice Scarf, this is gonna be easy. So I'm able to easily um, take out that thing with an Ice Beam and that is the end of the possible sweep that could have been um, superior. Um, I don't like superior, it's quite scary. So in comes his Slurp Off and why on earth I didn't attack this thing with an Ice Beam, I have no idea. I decide to swap out for God knows what reason, giving it a chance to belly drum, and that was just GG from then on. So um, he's gonna go for the belly drum. I have no idea why I didn't go for an ice beam. There was a chance I could have critted it, and then it might not have had enough HP to cut down. And da, oh, if I'd have just gone for an ice beam, we could have potentially had more of a chance. But instead, um, I didn't, so he's gonna get that belly drum off, and then he's just gonna sweep the rest of my team. It's just, it's not hard to sweep a slurp off, really. If you're at plus six, and you got your beard off and there's really no way I can uh, counter this at all so he's just gonna finish up the rest of my team with the plus six um slurp off I, I do I do like slurp off but I much prefer it special instead of physical because um physical is just too OP <laughs> I just really prefer special you get more coverage you can have flamethrower and surf and stuff like that as well on special so I, I I just prefer it special but um that was a really really good battle again it was really close it all came down to that unburden and um it was pretty pretty scary stuff so I hope you guys enjoyed that battle and I will see you around goodbye